Hey everyone, Autotharge here, and welcome to a new tutorial. I haven't done one of these in quite some time, but um, basically what I'm going to be showing you today is how to take, you know, a little image like this. Let's say maybe you're trying to make a little profile icon or something, and then you're like, oh, I got this nice little sprite here. I want to make it a bit larger. So you do the free transform tool and you make it large. And then you're like, that looks that looks pretty nice right there. And then you press apply, and then, oh my god, what the fudge is this? It looks like garbage, right? So, basically, I'm going to show you how to, you know, enlarge pixel art and pixels and sprites and stuff like that. And make it, you know, maintain that pixelated look, the hard edges and stuff. So, um, what I have here on my desktop is a, a little sprite sheet that I just found off of Google. So, I'm going to bring that into Photoshop here. And, um... Let's just find a nice image. Actually, yeah, let's just find a nice image. I'm going to use this one on the bottom left. So what we're going to do, we're going to go over here to the side and press and hold on this and select the crop tool. That's what you're going to want to use. And then this thing pops up here so you can shrink it down a bit. Uh, right there. Now shrink it down here. Isolate the sprite you want. Uh, that looks pretty good. Maybe put it down a bit. And then double click in the center. And there you go. You got your, your sprite right here. Now what we're going to want to do is um, actually, you, you can do this at any time, but basically go over here to the right right click layer from background and name it whatever I'm gonna name it but and we don't need to do this right now but I, I figure let's just get it out of the way so um that I'll, I'll explain why you need to do that later but anyways what you're gonna wanna do is go up here to image go to image size and um down here make sure constrain proportions is checked That'll basically make it so if you change one of this, it'll change the other in proportion. So let's say I want, uh, uh, what's a good size? Let's say HD 720, or yeah, 720. Uh, scale styles, make sure that's checked as well. And resample image, make sure that's checked. This is the most important part. Over here in this little drop down menu, make sure you have nearest neighbor preserve hard edges selected that is the most important part uh, in this process so once you have all that you have the height it's better to have the height larger than it is to have it smaller because you know if it's too small you're gonna have to scale it up and you're gonna lose quality so it's better to scale down because you maintain quality when you scale it down so press OK and bam look at that we have a, a really large size of Luigi and it, he looks all pixelated and nice so now what we're going to do is we're going to crop. That's why we uh, we uh, remove the layer from background so we can remove this uh, white background and make it transparent. So the tool I like to use is go. Uh, I go over here, I press and hold this, and I make sure to select the magic wand tool. So I click that, and then I just uh, select this white uh, background here, and then I press delete. Now that works most of the time. But in this, uh, usually you'll be done, but in this situation, as you can see, we actually remove this part right here next to Luigi's eye, this the white part of his eye. We didn't want to remove that, so I'm going to go to Edit, Undo, uh, Control D on your keyboard to deselect. And we're going to zoom in here a little bit, or a lot of bit. So we're going to go over here and select the rectangular marquee tool and basically we're gonna do this ourselves uh, this is right here this is the part of his eye we want basically everything that's not his eye so we're gonna crop this out and then press delete and now control D to deselect gonna zoom back out again actually just fit on screen there we go so now we can do um, uh, select the magic wand tool again and now when we select this 
Now it's not, uh, since we deleted the space in between, it's not going to delete Luigi's eye anymore. So we can press delete. And there we go. Now we have, we deleted, press control D to deselect. We deleted the background without getting rid of Luigi's eyes. Um, that's not always going to happen, but, um, yeah, so some, some situations you'll have something like that happen. So just letting you guys know in case something like that happens. So now we're ready to take this. Put it in here. And look at this. Look at how great this looks. Eh. Selected the wrong thing. Look at this. So, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching. If you have any uh, concerns or questions, uh, feel free to leave them down below. And I'll try my best to help you out. Uh, maybe someone else can help you out. Uh, and, and unless it's a case where I can't reply to your comments because of Google+, Plus, because that happened to me earlier today. I couldn't reply to someone because, I don't know, something about Google+.